<clears throat> Hello, this is Jim Bounds with Firefight Products, and uh, I'm in Ogden, Utah, at Bonneville High School, where their auto shop, uh, uh, Bonneville Garage, was voted uh, number one auto shop high school two years running. Okay? We're here to uh, rehab the drivetrain on this 1976 GMC motorhome. Very exciting, very interesting, it's a lot of fun. Today, though, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about RV fire safety, okay? Uh, somebody lock the back doors, make sure nobody leaves, because I want to freak you out, all right? <clears throat> your motorhome, 85% of your motorhome is made out of Class A combustible material. Wood, uh, plastic, paper, you. It's being propelled by at least two different Class B flammable liquids. Diesel, propane, gasoline, okay? And then you have two Class C electric ignition sources. One in the living area, one in the engine, okay? And then you have Class D flammables. Class D is metals. Anything will burn when it hits this flashpoint. Okay? So, a motor home is a pretty complicated device because it has a lot of different moving parts. It has a lot of different systems. And when you're out on the road, if something happens and you have a fire, it's a big deal. Right? You can't just pull over and turn the key off and you're okay. It's a big deal. Right. <clears throat> so you're driving down the road, having fun, just doing a great thing. And somebody pulls up next to you, beeping their horn and waving their hands. Chances are that guy is not a high school buddy looking for a big bear hug. There could be a problem with your motorhome. So what do you do? First thing you do is yell, fire. Why? You don't know if it's fire or not. If you were a uh, lifeguard in your high school days, and you're sitting there burning in the sun, and somebody yells, help, that turns you on. There's a problem. Wakes you up, you look around, what's going on? Same thing in a motorhome. You want to yell, fire. Is your wife or your, your others over there, what, 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 what's going on? You woke up. Immediately, you say, well, I look around. No, 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 no. Pull over. You don't know what the problem is. You haven't seen it so far. Somebody else has. You don't know what it is. And fire is fast. So the first thing you do, yell fire and pull over. Now, don't get in the grass because you catch grass on fire. <laughs> Stay on the hard pack. <clears throat> I'm sorry that you're in the way. That's too bad. You need to get safe. All right? Now, when you yell fire, the other person in the motorhome, what do they do? They immediately get up and go to the door, the entry door. Why? Because the second that thing stops, they're going to bail. They want to get out of your way, out of your responsibility. Okay? Now, at the door, there's a fire extinguisher. RVIA requires every RV manufacturer to put a fire extinguisher at the door. Well, that fire extinguisher at the door is a piece of garbage. It's a dry powder chemical. Hey, man, this is one of the gearheads at uh, Audio Garage here. Come on, say hey. All right. All right. We're talking about fire systems. So there's a fire extinguisher there, but it's a dry powder chemical extinguisher. It's the wrong kind of fire extinguisher to have in an enclosed area because... If it works, it has a caustic corrosive soda that if you breathe the fumes of it, it can burn your lungs. It's caustic and it's corrosive. Number two, it's powder. And it's in, a, it's in a container. You're going down the road shaking. What happens? You know, when, you, when they package uh, 20 mule team borax, it doesn't come out of the machine in nice little squares. It's a powder. 
And as it sits there and they containerize it, it solidifies. Well, that's what happens in a fire extinguisher. If it has a dry powder chemical, it turns into a, into a, a, a biscuit inside the container at the bottom as hard as a rock. So if that thing's been sitting there in your motorhome for a year or two. It is hard as a rock. You can find that out. Take it off the wall, turn it at an angle, and drop it on the, on the ground. If it has a ring to it, then it's, it's still soft. If you, if you drop the corner of it and it hits the ground and it thuds, it won't work. No good. So a dry powder chemical extinguisher is the wrong thing for an enclosed compartment, especially in a motorhome. You know, we're just about the last country in the free world that uses dry powder chemicals as a, uh, as a standard. Foam is, is so much better. You know when they say a five-pound fire extinguisher, five-pound BC, what does that mean? Does it mean that it weighs five pounds? No. It means that it will cover a five-foot square piece of dirt with the dirt that's in it. That's it. How does it work? It's supposed to put a suffocant layer over the fire, and the chemical that's inside a dry powder chemical extinguisher, when it gets hot, it tends to crust over, trying to create a crust over the fuel to get the oxygen away. That's crazy. The fire's on the wall. You shoot it on the wall. <laughs> Hits the wall, dirt falls down there. Fire's up there. Dirt's down here. Doesn't do anything. You can have a fire on the wall. You need a fire extinguisher that will treat the one on the wall. Okay? So that one at the door actually can do its job because it tells the person in the motorhome to go to the door. Don't use the fire extinguisher. The minute that motorhome stops or you can get out, just go out. So that fire extinguisher, that garbage fire extinguisher at the door did do something. It made you go to the door, but it, it will not fight the fire to any good extent, okay? What you need is a fire extinguisher or a fire suppression system that is designed for a fire, a fuel fire. If you have a, a diesel engine in the back and you have a, you have a fuel line, a high pressure fuel line that gets a hole in it, it spews diesel, okay? And the minute it hits some kind of ignition source, boom, it's on fire. Okay? And a dry powder chemical extinguisher will not do anything. It will not do anything. So just run. Hopefully you'll be able to get away from it. Okay? What you want to use in a fuel fire situation, in an enclosed vehicle situation, is a foam. Clean agent gas in enclosed small compartments that we'll talk about. But generally speaking, you want a foam fire extinguisher. Why? Because a foam, you shoot the foam up there and it stays. It will do its job up there, down here, wherever you shoot it. Okay? Hey, man. What's up? <laughs> Drop it in. Yep. How's it looking up there? Looks pretty great. We're yep. this. We cleaned it out uh, yesterday, so today yeah. we should get back in there. We're going to start working on the motor. All right. Yeah. I'm going to go back in my hole now. All right. All right. <laughs> what you want is a foam system. Now, foams are not all created equal. What you need is what's called a designer foam. That doesn't mean that it's made by Gucci. <laughs> it means that it's designed for specific application. Chances are you've got a fuel ignited fire. If it's an electrically ignited fire, well, when you turn off the electricity, now you have a class A fire if something like wood or something's on fire. You have a class B fire, which is fuel or vapor fires. Right? You need something to treat those. Right? Foam will do that. Yeah. You ever watched a commercial on TV and you saw drop, one drop of Dawn dishwashing liquid in a pan? And all the grease goes to the side. You've seen that? I know you have. I always wondered, does that mean I only clean the side of the pan? Is the middle of the pan clean? No, no, it doesn't. What that's showing you, and they didn't explain, is Dawn dishwashing liquid is one of the only dishwashing liquids that uses a special chemicals called a hydrocarbon emulsifier. 
fancy word, but what it does is it grabs the carbon molecule of the hydrocarbon, okay? Without the carbon, it, it, it can't burn. Without the carbon, it's not sticky anymore. That's why the grease goes to the side. That's why they use it on ducks when they have fuel uh, spills and things because it releases the hydrocarbon and it makes it where it's not sticky. Well, we use the same chemical to make the hydrocarbon separate the carbon molecule where the hydrocarbon is no longer flammable. That's a designer foam. They use it at the airport. Big plane comes in on fire. They go out there with a foam truck and they make a big cupcake out of it. You look at it, it's just foam everywhere. Well, that foam is designed to mix with the fuel and to turn the fuel non-flammable. That's the kind of foam, or that's the kind of fire suppression you need in a motorhome. And you need this designer foam designed for fuel fires. Okay. And it works wonderful. Go on the internet and look up Mac the Fire Guy. He's now retired. His motorhome and he both wore out at the same time. But he's got a couple of videos. And he will show that this, this small 16-ounce aerosol can with the proper designer foam in it, will give you a 12 to 15 second triggered spray oh, in the class, 12 to 15 second triggered spray at eight to 10 foot distance. And anything it hits will go out because it separates the carbon molecule. Now, if it's a class A or a class B fire, it's a foam, it's a liquid, it's a cooling agent, it's a wetting agent. It tries to cool the fire down. If it can get below his flashpoint, it'll stop. Third thing it does, it creates that suffocant layer. It has a, it's a, uh, it's a goo. Okay, it's non-flammable, non-toxic. You can drink it. it. Tastes terrible. Don't drink it. Remember on Ghostbusters the movie when Aykroyd got slimed by Spud? <laughs> There's stuff all over him. That's exactly what happens. This foam sticks. It stays there. It creates that suffocant layer. It tries to cool the fuel down, and it mixes with the fuel to create it to, that it's non-flammable. That's what you want, all right? This is a minimum standard. This will help you get out of the, the motorhome. Put this at the door. Take that dry powder chemical thing and throw it away. Put this at the door. Put one of these at the kitchen. Grease fire. It'll put it out. Put one of these at the uh, driver's seat. Because, you know, when you pull up and you see somebody on fire, you want to go out there and help them, right? Well, you grab this thing and you go out there, chances are you'll be able to do something with them. Put one in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the bedroom. Because if that egress window doesn't open, which, by the way, you should try to see if you can get out of it. But if that egress window doesn't open and there's a fire in the hallway, you're hooped. You can't get out. All right? I have letters that people have sprayed this on themselves and run through the flames. Yeah, because it's gonna create that water layer and you'll be able to run through the flames. It's just so important in a motorhome to be safe. It's not really expensive. This is a minimum standard. Now we also produce this auto deploy system for the engine, for your generator, for your refrigerator. We use a clean engine gas there, but we're trying to use the right chemicals, the right the, the right foam, the right stuff for this specific application. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about today is, is a foam fire system, minimum standard. This is a personal fire safety, okay? These are not expensive, but I'm gonna tell you, this can save your life. You have them all over the place. You have one in the kitchen, like I said, one in the driver's seat, one in the bedroom, one in your tow car. One in the propane compartment outside. You say, why in the propane compartment? Because the propane compartment does not have a lock on it. It's not supposed to. So if you have a fire, you have your significant other, grab every one of these you can. Just get them together because that is your, your equipment. That's what you can fight that fire with. And this is a minimum standard. Remember this, you're not trying to put the fire out. You're trying to get safe. You're trying to get away from it. You're trying to get all the people 
in that motorhome out and safe, right? And a foam, especially designer foam fire extinguisher. When I say fire extinguisher, this is a can of bug spray. It's, a, it's, it's an aerosol can, okay? The most expensive part of a fire system is the containment and the deploy head, okay? The stuff in it's not that expensive. It's just to have it available and to have it deployable when you need it, right? This is very inexpensive because it's an aerosol can, and it's a, it's a uh, uh, AccuSol top, very inexpensive, but it will absolutely do the job because the stuff inside is made for that application, okay? Doesn't take much to be safe. Doesn't, doesn't have to spend a lot of money. Now, you ask your insurance agent, how much is enough insurance? <laughs> There's never enough insurance, right? Well, if you can address the top four things in your motorhome and you have an option, you have a way to put out a fire or a way to address heat issues in those four things, you're safer than 95% of the other people out there. Because most of the people out there, they're out on a limb. If they have a fire, the best thing they can do is try to get to the door and get out because they're not going to stop it. And, the, uh, and the, the RV manufacturers will not talk about fire because their attorneys have said, if you talk about it, then you're in the loop of uh, liability. So what do they do? They don't tell you about anything. Some of the, some of the RV uh, manufacturers, Tiffin and some other ones, are starting to get into fire safety. And let me tell you, brother, if you buy one of these things, you better think about it catching on fire because it's the number one reason for RV destruction is fire, not, not uh, hitting something, because you're bigger than it is. Chances are, if you hit a car, you're gonna crush that car, okay? It's fire, brother, it's fire, and you need to be prepared for that. I don't wanna scare you about it, but you really need to address it, all right? So, I appreciate the time you spent here, I hope this has been helpful to you to learn a few things about your motorhome and about how to make sure that you don't burn up and be a crispy kid, right? Firefight Products makes this in a 16 ounce aerosol can. It gives you a lot of fire safety. And every one of these extra you have, that's doubling, tripling your, your uh, assets. I feel that that's what you need to do. Minimum standard. Well, again, thank you for your time. I hope this has been helpful. And uh, if you will get one of get hold of one of your uh, Firefight Products uh, dealers and get some of this, I think that you'll be happy. Give me a call if you have any other questions.